guys, it's Dante the Pug, also known as the YouTuber that never uploads. Okay, in this video, we'll be opening some of Magic the Gathering Dungeons and Dragons, the new pack. So, let me put this over here. So, me and Daddy Pug both got sets. So, if you can see, we already opened five well technically six but i have five packs and daddy pug also has five packs and then we have this one land pack which is also i think some artifacts so uh let's get the first card then so we'll open it up So first up, we have this Soul Knife Spy. It's a creature. That's pretty good. It, it's the water energy. Now I'm going to put that into my water pile. Next up, we got the Pauldron Shield. It's an artifact. It's light. Pretty cool. Uh, let me find the actual light. For that. I don't actually. Oh. Anyway. Next up, we have the Hired Hexblade. It's the skull, also known as I call it the Dark Energy. Pretty cool. Next up, we have the Ranger's Longbow. It's uh, grass and it's an artifact. Okay, we'll just put them there. Next up, we have an unexpected winefall. It's an instant. It's pretty cool. We have a air cult elemental, which is the water energy. Next up, we got an underdark basketballist. Pretty cool. Next up, we have the Great Axe, which is an artifact. Next up, we've got uh, a Celestial Unicorn. It's a pretty cool card. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. We also have this die, I just want to say. Whoa, this is cool. The Dungeon Module C7 Evolving Wilds. An adventure for characters levels 1 through 4. Land, sacrifice evolving wild. Search your library for a basic land card. Put it into the battlefield. Tap and tap, tapped, then shuffle. This is a really cool card. Next up, we have a Blink Dog. Another one of these, like, I don't know what the, the technical poor term is for these, but we got two of those, which are for, like, the sun, I guess. Next up, we have Death Priest of Merkel. He is a uh, Terror Kai Flying Cleric. Pretty cool card. Next up, we have the Losum Troll. I think that's how you pronounce it. Don't really know. Next up, we got the Dragon Turtle, which that's a real cool core. Also, it is uh, what's it called, Daddy Pug? Rare. Yeah, a r rare. Well, that's that's pretty cool, and it's a Dragon Turtle. Uh, next up, I'm just gonna grab these cards. So, uh, we have the token creature, which is just a wolf. It's also on the back, it has this. No idea what that is. I don't know, guys. So, pretty cool. 
Next up, it's just a forest of land. Just a basic card. Next, let's open uh, the second bag. Ah, uh, I also want to say, uh, before the end of the video, we will be opening a vintage Magic the Gathering event deck from 2013. I was only seven when this came out, but I have it, okay? That's what matters. <clears throat> Next, we have the Delver's Torch. That's, that's a cool card, but don't know. My mess is getting bigger and bigger. Uh, next up we have the Horde Robber. It's a really good card. Uh, <laughs> we have the Faradise Fireball. Sorry if I mispronounce anything, guys. I'm not an expert, okay? Uh, then we have the Hill Giant Hedge Gorger. Pretty cool. Uh, next we have the Charmed Sheep. There we go. Then we have the Devoted Paladin. Okay. That's how you pronounce it. Pretty cool card. I must say. Now I'm gonna kinda do a kind of rapid fire go. We have the Young Thai Fang Blade. Next we have the Jing Ding the Jing Windseer. Next we have the Leather Armor. Next we have the Cleric Class. Yeah. Uh, next we have the Tricksters Tailman. Uh, there. Next we have the Hunters Mark. Next up we have the Volpool Sword, which is also a rare. Pretty cool. Next we have You Come to the Nala Camp. Pretty cool. I think that's a hollow, right, Daddy Bug? Oh, yo, yo. Next up, we have the mountain, which is for uh, the fire energy. Then we have the angel and this back part. It's a token creature. Pretty cool. Okay. This is uh, our third pack. Don't know why I had to look. I, I think I could count. Anyway, this deck will pretty much be a speed deck because, yeah, I I need quick videos, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, okay. Uh, Hurl of the Hadar. For this deck, uh, for this pack, I'm saying, uh, you can pause the video and read it. I, 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 I can read them, I guess. Spoils of the Hunt. Um, uh, Dueling Rapier. Next we have the Bear of the Gate. Bar, sorry. Half Elf Monk. Vampire Spawn. Devour intellect, I think. Uh, you come to a river. Uh, bullet, bullet. I think that's how you say. Bullet. This is why we have Daddy Pug. He just tells me how everything's pronounced. Alberant Mind Sorcerer, Ray of the Frost, is, I have a question, what's the blue, is that a rare, 
the blue. No, that's gray. It's a, or silver. It's an uncommon. Oh, but why is it blue? They're normally silver. Right? Yeah, it's just the way it looks. Yeah. Ooh, I got a legendary creature. A Limerith Desert. Desert. Sorry, Desert Doom. Mythic. Yeah. That's really cool. Uh, yeah, it goes there. And then I have another legendary creature, a demon, Orcus, Prince of the Undeath. Is that a rare or is it? Is that rare? I think it's an uncommon. Really? Very cool though. I do not lie. Then we have the island. And then we have a token legendary creature, Zombie God, Vensa. And then on the back, we have another crab. Okay, next up, our second, I guess, last to regular decks, I guess. One pack. Next up, we have the Hired Hexblade. I think we've already seen that card. Um, next up, we have the Bull Strength. Next, we have the Boots of Speed. I'm cleaning up, realizing my piles. Next, we have the Shocking Grasp. Then we have the Planar Alley. Next we have the Eyes of the Beholder. That's a really cool animation. Well, not animation, picture of him getting disintegrated. That is a cool card. Of course, that is also my opinion, but. Um, what, oh. Silver's Raven. Next, you you find a cursed idol. Next, there's a pixie guy. What does the black mean? It's black. That's just common then. Oh, all right. You are not that special, but still alternate art. Yeah, that was cool. Then there's a rhyme. Shield Frost Giant. That's pretty cool. Next up, we have the legendary creature. Shishra Death, Death's Whisperer. That's a cool card. Next up, we have the Goblin's Morning Star, I think. Really cool. I don't. I don't know. Okay. Next up, we have the white dragon. That's a cool card. Next up, we have the legendary creature, which is my rare, the dragon knight, Nadar, selfless paladin. That's a cool card. Next up, we have the planes, and then we have the token creature, which is the spider, and then random crap on the back. Okay, on to the last pack. Hopefully, there's something good in here. My pile is getting very big. Okay, first up, starting it out, we have the Prince of Loyalty. Next up, we have the Shocking Grasp, Instant. Okay. Next, we have the Priest of Ancient Lore. Next up, we have the Deadly District. Dispute? What is it, Daddy Pug? Deadly Dispute. 
Just view. Okay, yep. Alright. Sylvan's uh Shepherd. Human droid. Next up we have the Earth Cult Elemental Core. Cult no it's called it is core. Called. I thought it was core. I, I don't know. There's my bag. Rangers Hawk. Next, we have the Spare Dagger. Okay. Next up, we have the Rhyme Shield Frost Giant. I think we've already noticed that. That's why I'm going over it a little quicker. Next, we have the... Our... It's just a Pegasus, okay? Next up, you find some Prisoners. Okay. All right. Sudden insight. Next up, the temple of the dragon queen. This is a land. Um, I will read it off very quickly. As the temple of the dragon queen enters the battlefield, you may reveal a dragon card from your hand. So it's pretty much like a free dragon. That's my best way of explaining it. Alright, next up we have the dungeon model R12 land den of the bugbear. Yeah, those ones are super rare ones, I think. The module style ones. Mm -hmm. Then up uh, we have just mountain. I don't think we actually got... Oh, no, no. That's the legendary. Yeah, whatever it is. I, I don't know. Next up, we have the, this is the last one. I don't even want to try saying that name because I don't want to get yelled at in the comics. Guinevere, I forget how you pronounce it. Yeah, that's why I didn't. Okay, last up for the new pack pictures. This is the newest dungeon. Du wait, why am I saying dungeon? Adventures right. in Forgotten Realms. Yeah, and Dungeons and Dragons for Magic the Gathering. We have the treasure chest, which of these are all hollows. So that is pretty cool. And those are all just lands. Yeah, though they, no, that was an artifact though. Planes, uh, I'm not gonna go over them because it's just planes. They're all hollows. I'll just show one of each because I don't really think you're interested. That's in there. So we have an island. Though they are, they are cool. I'm just going to show you one. A swamp. Um, we are not sponsored by Magic the Gathering. Just an FYI. Though they are good. Uh, then we have the mountain. For the fire. Points. And then we have uh, the forest. Um, we also have Daddy Pug opening his cards right now. Because he's waiting. Okay. Uh, I think that one's just a pre built deck. Yeah, but we still gotta open it. <laughs> I cannot open right now. Oh my god, my mess is getting bigger. Go through it. Oh, see. I'm sorry, my mess is getting on your air right now. Alright, so. First up, we have a die. Another die. Then, we have some of the cards. Another, some of the cards. I don't know. I have no idea what this is. It's like a little plate. Do you know it's, what it is, Daddy? Though? It's an organizer. And then there's Sweet Varenja. Yeah. yeah, I'm not going over these. They'll go over into the miscellaneous pile. 
This is a cool box. I'll show it's you. It's a little deck box. Yeah. Just open up like that. That's cool. All right. First up, these are older cards too. I, I just well, it's that. the 2013 yeah. Yeah. core set. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that might be the sideboard. So you might want to keep those separate. <laughs> What do, what do you mean by sideboard? Well, we'll go over that later. Okay, yeah, still I don't know. They're all screeching scabbles. They might be tokens Scabs. that are used with the deck or something. There's them. Okay. This is what they look like. Oh, nope. And then, well, I'm just going to put these right here. And then there's the arc tail. Yeah, I would keep that one separate, because... Arctic. I'll put them over here, because they're older cards. Then we have the Blood Crazy Mute. How's it pronounced? Neonate. Uh, there you go. Next up, we have the disc number what is this is that a special one it doesn't look like any of them oh no that was a set i used to have that's uh scars of muradin or something like that uh, anyway they're the disc number. i forget what that mana was called Uh, next up, we have the Secrets of the Dead. In there. So, those were just. Yeah, do you want me to stack them up together again? What? Do you want me to just stack them up together? Yeah, yeah I would just do that. Well, I, would, I would keep these all together. Yeah. Cause yeah, I'll just put them all in one big pile. And I would keep those because. What? Because that's a, that's a complete deck. To keep that together. So I guess I'll just move them to the back. So the first card is how many cards are in here? 60. Okay, I'm gonna go really quickly. Um, you okay. could just show the rares or something. Yeah, first up we have the armored scab. There's two of these. Uh, yeah, this will just be the power. Uh, let me see how many of these there are. There's the Fertigeist. There there are. There's, I think, like four of them. Next, we have uh, Firework Phoenix. Then we have the Dark Slick Shores. The Desolate Lighthouse, the Evolving Wind, Wild, Wild, Wild sorry. Uh, there's four of them, I think. Next up, we have the Sulphur Falls. This is a cool one. As you can see, it's part blue and red, which means it covers over for... Is it a blue and red, or just either a blue or a red? Either a blue or a red. Uh, that's, that's a really cool card. Next up, there's... How many mountains? There's probably going to be a lot. Uh, there's a decent amount of mountains. I'm not going to... I didn't count out how many. I just go and look until there's... Next, we have some islands. Some basic islands. Next up, there's one swamp in the deck. Uh, silent distribute a faithless looting. Okay. Oh, can you fix that, Daddy Cog? Next up, we have the. Geist Flame. Next up, we have the Pillar of Flame. Then we have the Think 
twice. Uh, so I think just on how long this video is that we're probably not gonna get to dad. So yeah, so there's the forbidden alchemy, which there's the desperate rare ones. I'm not saying them, I'm just looking. And then there's burning vengeance. And then there's a rolling clem temblor. Next up we have two slags, slag storm. And then there's the red sun's zenith. So, sign up for. so uh, first up I want to say, uh, that I um, hope I'm gonna try to get another video somewhat soon uh, about uh, Lego review. Like I said, we'll we'll see. Uh, next up, I want to say that it was fun. I'm getting into Magic the Gathering, so there might be some more videos of me opening, but. On that note, I'll be saying goodbye to you guys, and I will say thank you for watching. And if you want, if you like this video, maybe you could hit the subscribe button, like the video, and turn on notifications. But it's just optional. Bye!